This is finger food, right? Mm mm mm. Oh. Hello, guys. Welcome to Korean Papsang. We all love that crispy, crunchy Korean fried chicken that's glazed in a delicious sauce. I've already done a video on Takgangjong, crispy bite-sized fried chicken in a sweet, slightly spicy and sticky sauce. This time, we're gonna fry up some chicken wings. There are so many variations of Korean fried chicken created by an infinite number of fried chicken chains and mom and pop places. One of the highly popular types has that thin crispy crust that's glazed with a delicious sauce, either mild soy garlic or red spicy. That's what we're gonna make today. Before we get to the chicken, Korean fried chicken is usually served with a pickle radish side dish. It's refreshingly sweet and sour and pairs really well with the fried chicken. I, I have about a pound of uh, radish here. We're going to cut this into cubes, like about a half inch, another half inch pieces. Cutting is done. So I have a cup of water and this is a third cup sugar and a third cup vinegar and we're gonna mix it all up. Uh, we need a little bit of salt, uh, just enough to bring out the sweetness. Okay, and just pour it over the radish and um, close. Done. Okay, now the chicken. I have two pounds of chicken wings here, nicely separated into drumettes and wingettes. I cleaned them and drained really well. Okay, now we're gonna season this. Um, I need a teaspoon of fresh grated ginger. You can use ginger powder if you have, but I like to use fresh ginger. All right, teaspoon ginger, some pepper to taste, a teaspoon and a half. This salt is not that salty. If you're using finer salt, like table salt, then use a teaspoon. Okay, now I'm gonna get in there, mix it all up. Make sure each piece gets evenly coated with the seasonings. All right, now we're gonna put this in the fridge, giving it enough time for the salt or the seasoning to do its magic. All right, we're making two types of sauces here, red spicy and soy garlic. You can either just uh, choose one or make both and have half and half, panban as Koreans say. Okay, so red spicy sauce first. Tablespoon soy sauce. This is rice wine, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons honey, you can use a tablespoon uh, or a little more. This is actually 1.5 tablespoons, gochujang. And I add some sort of hot sauce. Tabasco sauce is good, and even your Frank's um, red hot sauce. This time I'm using sriracha, and here's four tablespoons water to thin it all out. And we are going to boil this over about medium heat. This is not that strong stove here. Okay, it's slightly thickened. And I forgot to mention, but I also use a half teaspoon of Dijon mustard here. It's totally optional, but it just adds another layer. Mm, it all smells really good. Okay, it's been boiling about five minutes and it has a slightly thickened up. And um, the sauce will get thicker as it cools, so I think I'm gonna turn the heat off now. Okay, now the second sauce, soy garlic. Mixed up with the soy sauce, this time it's two tablespoons. 
and two tablespoons of rice wine, two tablespoons sugar, again, two tablespoons of honey, but you can also use rice syrup, oligo syrup, or uh, corn syrup. This is a teaspoon of uh, vinegar. I generally use rice vinegar, but you can use white vinegar or apple cider vinegar for this. And a tablespoon garlic. Okay, here's another optional ingredient. It's oyster sauce. It just adds another layer of savoriness. Uh, four tablespoons of water to thin it all out. Make sure to bring it to a boil first and then continue to boil for four to five minutes. Okay, I think this is uh, about done. So this has a slightly thickened up. It, it covers the spoon a little bit and it will get thicker as it cools. Okay, now the batter. So there are largely two types of batter for frying chicken, uh, dry batter and wet batter. You can simply use cornstarch or potato starch as a dry batter, and that's an easy way to create a crispy, crunchy uh, crust. However, in Korea, wet batter is more commonly used. And we're going to use a combination of frying mix in potato starch, you can use cornstarch too. After experimenting with different ratios, I decided I like a two to one ratio of frying mix to starch. That means for this recipe, half cup of frying mix and a quarter cup of starch. So if you don't have a frying mix, you can uh, use all-purpose flour, just modify it with a couple of things. In my recipe post, I show you how to modify all-purpose flour for frying. Mix it all up until it's nice and smooth. Okay, this is slightly thick, so I'm gonna add more. This is how it looks now. All right, the batter is done. Now we're ready to get our oil going. Okay, to this, I'm going to add some vegetable oil. Korean fried chicken uh, usually takes double frying. I do first frying at a relatively low temperature, anywhere between 320 to 330. Okay, now we're gonna do this one at a time and um, drum it first, because they are fatter. Dip it in the batter and shake it off. Access batter on the side of the bowl. So we're gonna fry these in two batches. And don't try to separate the wings at this point. Let them just cook a little bit. Uh, we're going to let this fry for about six minutes for the first frying. Okay, now it's been uh, frying up uh, three to four minutes. And now you can get in there and break things up. It just comes off. All right, so for the first frying, we're just looking for a light golden brown color. And it's nicely getting there. This first frying is ready. I'm going to take them out. and then spread them out. I, I don't dredge the chicken before and after dipping in the uh, wet batter because that will make the crust too thick. Uh, look at the first frying is already very nicely golden brown. And this is because of the uh, frying mix. Starch alone will not give you this kind of color. Okay, now we're ready for the double frying. So we're gonna bring the oil to around 350. And stay as far as you can from the oil. Oil's being a little happy here. All right, uh, this time I'm gonna go for five minutes. Oh wow, this looks really beautifully golden brown. It will be really delicious as is because uh, the frying mix is really nicely uh, seasoned and we season the chicken too. All right, so first let's go with a soy garlic. See how nicely the sauce has thickened up? You can either toss the chicken in the sauce or just brush the sauce on. 
And I actually like brushing it on because you can control the amount of sauce that goes on each piece. Okay, this is about half, so I am now gonna move on to the spicy sauce. I feel like I'm back to kindergarten classes, painting. Okay, I'll serve up. Okay guys, how does that look? It's a chimek time. Chicken, chi, mekju, mek. Mekju is beer in Korean. I've been waiting for this moment. Mm. This really is a perfect. Crust is really crispy and crunchy. So chicken is still very moist inside. And the uh, sauce is delicious, guys. Oh my goodness. And let's not forget our chicken moo, chicken radish. This is finger food, right? Mm. Now tell me I deserve this today. Oh. All right, I'm gonna have a spicy one. Mm, mm, mm. The crust really stands up nicely to the sauce. I think you need to put your camera down and have this. <laughs> okay, cheers. Well done. I hope you try this delicious Korean fried chicken at home and have an amazing KFC experience. Thank you for watching. See you next time.